should be going now. It says I'm live on my end. It says it's receiving my content there. Hello, YouTube. It is I, the mega famous DJ Windsor. And God damn it, really? You, you're you're watching my crap. Thank you. All right, so uh, today I am doing the disciple archetype. Okay, come on, load. There we go. Uh, this one, uh, as it mentions in the description, it's an archetype that I uh, used originally for my first Let's Play on YouTube. Um, and I, I just ended up getting tired of it because I kept on doing the, um, the, what's it called? The, uh, uh, the adventure packs by myself. And in all honesty, really, you should be doing those things with a bunch of friends because, you know, they're there as group content. And I do see SciSpy Gaming is up in this bitch. Uh, hello, SciSpy Gaming. Um, go ahead and talk back if, 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 if you hear me talking. Anyway. Uh, so this is a melee archetype. It uses the Ego Blades power set. And uh, we're going to see just how well it goes for uh, its first six levels. At least, you know, in the current iteration of the game. I'm just going to hit randomize all because I didn't think of creating anything specific for them. So random, 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 fucking random, random. Really? You're going to stop at the one fucking archetype that I don't want to play again? Random, 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 random. There. Okay, we'll go with this ugly, hideous, hideously deformed creature of not so human size and strength. And I can actually change the type of weapon, although I don't know if you can see it too well. Uh, let's go with... White. Uh, it's not showing up as that. Eh. Doesn't show up well. There we go. Uh, let's link. Okay, that doesn't fucking work. Undo. <laughs> Alright, we'll just fucking go with the uh, telekinetic sword. Yeah, you get to adjust the weapon on this one just like with the blade and... Uh, fucking fly. Oh, gross, it's in my hand. Um... With the blade and the unleashed archetype, and you, like you can change the guns on the soldier or the bow on the marksman, um, or the guns on the inventor. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. Okay. And. Disciple 80 tryout. I only exist today. My short life will be on DJ Windsor's channel on YouTube. Go watch him. He sucks at this game. There we go. Alright, skip the tutorial because I ain't about that life. Alright, go ahead. Give me the over 9,000 fucking things. Oh, god damn it. That is a lot of fucking perks. Alright. Discard, 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 
discard. There we go. Alright. I'll just hang on to that healing one because I may need that. Anyhow. Alright, head trainer. Giggity. Uh, train up. Unlike most melee, uh, melee characters, their primary stat is ego. Because telekinetic attacks work off your ego stat rather than your strength stat. So, you know, the bigger an ego testicle you are, the better your blades will cut your enemies. So, remember that if you're ever going to make a uh, freeform based on the, uh, the disciple archetype. And travel power, we'll pick one that looks interesting. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to go with distortion acrobatics. There we go. Okay. Gear up. Boom. Yay. Grab the shit and get on with it. Oh, another good thing about this archetype is uh, you have um, you have what's it called? Uh, dexterity is one of your super stats, so you'll be flinging out uh, critical hits constantly, which is great because there is a uh, an advantage on the second power in your uh, set, ego blades or ego weaponry, that makes it so that whatever damage you would have dealt in a critical hit, you will get back in the form of healing. Alright, so. Uh, come on. I really wish, I really wish I had a way of making this my default and shit, but this is fucking annoying. Having to do this every goddamn stream, and it's not something that I can do when I'm off stream either, because I have to create the character on the stream, so you know I'm not giving him anything new. Uh, and... Never cancels. There we go. Whee! Defender, talk to me. Give me that. Give me that. And I'm gonna go over here. I don't know why, but I like that costume. And it's not the boobies, it's the colors. Maybe it's because it reminds me of a different character. Oh well. Uh, do you have anything for me? Aw, oh, nothing. Nothing at all. That makes me a sad archetype that's being tried out. Yay, double XP, let's fucking roll. Alright. No, no, that's not gonna help me. This is. Ha ha! Bye, motherfuckers! Yes, I am on now. Sorry about that. I had to close what I was doing, and it took a moment, by the way. And hello, Hector! Alright, taking West's backside. I mean, back west side. Woo! Time for me to slice people to ribbons. Wait a minute. Uh, actually, yeah, wait a minute. What's going on here? Did it not save that? It didn't fucking save any of that. Son of a bitch! Oh, I hate it. There we go. Okay. Slice and dice. Slice, slice, slice. Dingling a ding dong. I got an anniversary gift. Yay! Oh, anniversary favor. You. Need. To. Die. Thank you. Ah. Uh. 
No, I, I didn't have to change my pants. I know this this isn't really much of a uh, super exciting thing to watch, but there's a re there's a rhyme to the reason here. You see, I am trying to show you guys if these archetypes are worth spending your good money for. Wee. All right, so um, we'll go with ego because reasons. Okay. Awesome. Got that. And since I can't really do anything with that, commit. Because the character's not going to exist long enough that it's going to be uh, useful, so super useful. But anyhow. Uh, we will go with Purple Pose because, well, it can be done a lot faster. Alright, you. Oh yeah, I was supposed to already grab my uh, shit. Alright, so, first, powers. Id Mastery. Yes. Second, uh, train talents. Uh, I will go with Dex Ego. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I have to kill a shit ton of these motherfuckers, but I need to do it quick. Uh, you guys. You guys don't mind dying in the name of science, do you? I mean,. Helping in the name of science? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Dead. Wait a minute. Hold on. Killing things. I know you said something, Hector. Bear with me. Uh, uh, your system, controller, and memory card are done. All I gotta do is locate a pretty RF cord and a power cord that doesn't look as though it were used to floss Hillary's teeth. Well, you know, at least it doesn't look nearly as bad as anything that, you know, Trump has, you know, literally touched ever. Because that stuff all looks like garbage. Yay! Finish that fucking mission. Oh god damn it, go faster. Wait a minute, in a zoom? No. I remember uh, someone, I believe, from City of Heroes that had the name, used the name Inazuma. It was very long ago. Because, oh shit, no, I'm not going to another place. Alright, so, normally. Oh, <gasps> siphoning strikes is three? Oh, poopy. Poopy, poopy, poopy. Um, so, that's the ability that you can heal with, and it costs three points for good reason. Because if you get a string of critical hits, you've healed yourself to full. Anyway. Yes, they pulled they pulled hair from his butt and plugged it into his head. Don't worry. The flesh was pretty much the same. Uh 
anyway, enough about that. I'm going to actually go with what I usually don't go with. Double blades. There we go. So now, you'll see in just a second. Oh, god damn it. Spin them blades. All it is is a cosmetic change. But yeah, that move right there, beastly. And goddamn, my feet are huge. Anyway, bloof. Yay, resource booster. He has orange skin. It's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Get up that fucking roof. Or onto that fucking roof. There we go. So, yeah. I don't support Hillary, but I certainly don't support um, Trump. In fact, there is less chance of me ever voting Trump as there is me voting for myself to get cancer. I might watch it. Uh, it really depends on if I'm actually in my house at the time. The uh, He's talking about the debate. And sorry that I'm bringing politics into this. If you agree with my politics, okay. If you don't agree, okay. This is a video about Champions Online. Ignore my politics. Let me just continue and beat the shit out of bad guys. Come on, die. Die, die, die. Fuck it. Healing. Okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Dick. Alright. Yeah. We're, let's leave politics out of any questions this week, please. No more, no more politics, because I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about video games, because that's, that's what I'm playing right now. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should have gone with super speed instead, because Jesus Christ, slow... This is pretty much the same kind of, uh, same style of archetype that, uh, um, Psy Spy used in his first, uh, playing of Champions on Online. Um, melee with acrobatics as his, uh, as his, uh, travel power. But I'm using, uh, one of the pay-for ones. You can use it, you can use Zen to pay for it, you can use actual money to, to buy Zen to pay for it. You can earn Zen in game by uh, trading your your what's it called? God damn it! What the fuck is it called? Um, God damn this character is ugly. Um, you can trade your words, Brian. Speak. Um, you can trade actual. You can trade Questionite for Zen. I haven't seen the huge double-headed dildo in uh, Grand Theft uh, San Andre Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Also, I haven't played that game. 
I'm not going to speak ill of the Grand Theft Auto series. It's just really not for me. Um, I played I played them, and I, I just didn't really enjoy them as much as a lot of other people did. I guess it kind of got to me more that I was doing the acts in the game than, you know, some other people. Oh, God. Don't die, me. As I said, I suck at video games. All right. And I don't have a charge. Man, the attacks look way more dynamic with the double uh, double blades. It's in the shower in the police station. I watched uh, Cassie play uh, uh, Saints Row. I don't know if she beat the game, but she uh, but she got to a point where the main story was not where you where you didn't where you got out of the place where the main story takes place. I can't really go any more into in depth into that because. I don't want to spoil it for people who actually want to play it for the story, which I don't think most people play those games for the story. They play it for the power fantasy, just like people play uh, Champions Online. Um, although, that that's actually another thing that uh, makes me kind of miss Cha or City of Heroes, because... It had power fantasy and it had a decent story, at least in my my opinion. Die, 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 die. All right, yay! Oh, little uh little advantage to being a a gold player I can change the colors of my powers so I am going to stab you with purple brain swords stab 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 die 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 I'm actually happy that I got uh, Fallout 4 as is. I got, I got like literally three or four hundred hours of fun out of that game. I think it was closer to 400, possibly, yeah, more more than 400, I think. Um, but yeah, that one, that one, I had tons of fun with, and Cassie is still playing it. Like she, she's, she's actually torn and kind of sad. Oh shit, that was fast. Um, I'm already at level ten. Holy shit, guys. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, force of will. Fuck it. I'll go with that so I have more energy. Alright. Um, but anyhow. She's still playing it and she's had kind of a... Um, a sad... thing... where she has... Um, she has to decide to either lose one of her followers or not finish the storyline of the newest DLC. And 
she's actually torn on that. And I, I, I told her, you know, babe, is it really that big of a loss? And she's like, well, and when was the last time you used him? Uh, <laughs> and how often are you going to use him in the future? I, well, you know, just get him to have sex with you and then kick him to the curb. There you go. All right, well, I'm only in this spot because it's where I traditionally do this alerts thing where I do the last level of this, of whatever archetype. Uh, Codsworth and Valentine are the only good followers. Um, I completely agree about Valentine and Codsworth, but I don't say that they're the only good followers. Um... Ava, she doesn't have, um, she doesn't really have a personality per se, but, you know, it's another fucking robot that you can put together yourself. By that same note, you could do any robot, but still. Um, giggity? Uh, strong is good if you are a purely ranged character, because he'll go in and he'll tank hits with melee weapons. Um, Cassie loves McCready. Like, straight up. She adores McCready. I... I... I guess McCready's cool. Um, I don't... I don't dislike him, but... Anyway. Um, by the way, if you like any characters that you, uh... that you make in Fallout, since I know you're a gun nut, the soldier archetype, which I will do especially for you next week, Hector. The soldier archetype is all about guns. So, you know, that may be one you want to watch next week. That's right, folks. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now. Soldier archetype. Next archetype I go through. Well, yeah, he's a he's a little piece of shit in Fallout Three. All right, let's go beat the shit out of Mech Assassin. I am probably going to die horribly, but my God, this this archetype with double XP, things are fucking easy. But, there's still the, uh... Oh, I wonder who that's supposed to be. Hmm. I couldn't possibly guess. Oh, he's the behemoth archetype. Because, yeah, that's the easiest fucking one, the f easiest fucking idea, my behemoth ar archetype, which will be my, uh, my special thing afterward. Oh my god, why are they all looking at me? Because the goddamn tank doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, we have a good we have a good tank. Never mind. The invincible, which may be next uh, next after the soldier. That one is the best tank archetype I've ever played. Wait a minute. Uh, minions. Yes. Oh god. 
I'm under attack. I'm gonna die! Somebody help me! I miss not having a goddamn lunge. No, you don't want you don't want to look at me. That reminds me, I think I have to do a retcon on uh, on my uh, invincible archetype at some point. I love that archetype, by the way. Well, it's not just the Punisher build. Um, you can also think of it as um, you know. Um, what, what other characters are there? Um, pretty much any gun-based character from, uh, oh god, The Expendables, or, in my case, he's actually a soldier of, um, like, you can also do an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., you can also do, um, uh, what's it called, um, you can do Primus. Well, look at this guy. He's fucking Snake Eye. Mil Miller? He's fucking Snake Eye, only not a ninja. Oh my god, why are they attack- Why do people have sexual attractions to vampires? I mean, seriously. Nosferatu is not amused! Stab, stab, stabby, stab, stab your brain. With my purple swords. Yay! God damn it, I keep forgetting that I don't have. Uh, block, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, God! They're attacking me! Ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop it! <laughs> Mommy! Oh god. <sighs> so yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the disciple, its defenses are made of a, uh, a paper mache gelatin um, alloy. <laughs> I could sparkle. I have that. Uh, I have. I. Uh, oh wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. I. I don't know what I'm fucking doing right now. Anyway, I have to kill this combat engineer. God damn it, fake Superman. Will you just fucking punch somebody? Stop sucking so bad at your job. That's my job. <laughs> so, I'm pretty decent with most melee archetypes. Um, this one, it it's a little different because you have no strength to keep you from getting knocked back so it's kind of difficult which is why they give you constitution as one of your stats um, one of the super stats I believe
Oh god. Ah shit. It's a big guy. Run. <laughs> Stop hitting me with missiles. Shit, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh god. No. Ow! Fucking grenade. Only gamers, like real gamers, will like recoil in pain when their character takes a hit. God damn fucking... Okay. Moving this way and stabbing you in the butt. For some reason not animating. Um, there is a ghoul child. There's Billy. You rescue him from a refrigerator. Oh, shit. Stab him in the butt. Uh, he's full on health, so I'm going to grab that, because I will die otherwise. As you can see, Kulam, which I can tell is the, uh, the invincible archetype. Billy in four. You rescue him from a fridge. He's been in there since before the war. And then your mission when you after you free him is to bring him back to his parents or do other stuff. Depends how big of a dick you are. I can't show you exactly cuz I'm not playing that game just in case you're curious. All right, come on. Just fucking die already, god damn it. Stabby, stab, stab. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I'm not going to die to that. Thanks. Yay. Yes, thank you. Near the Peabody house. And yes, I didn't think it was pronounced that way here. I thought it was Peabody. I, kept on, I keep on fucking mocking Cassie with that. Uh, I keep saying, it's Peabody. And I have reached level 11. That means this character can die in a fire. <laughs> not DLC? Yeah, it's not DLC at all. It was in the base game. Alright, so. Now, at level 11, I get the damn, uh, lunge, because fucking reasons. Um... I, I'm still fucking build finishing building him, even though I'm not going to actually use the character. I don't know why I do this every time. Why you do this, Winza? Why you do this? Um, any whore. Uh, so, this particular archetype... Its big disadvantage is, since it is using... Um, Ego as its primary super stat and not strength and doesn't even get strength as an option. Um, you get Ego, Recovery, and Dexterity and Dex doesn't even come on till 15. So it's a little slower going than, than some of the other melee archetypes. Even though this took me fucking... 39 minutes when some pure damage archetypes took longer, but I think it's because I just, you know, chose quick missions rather than indoor missions because I'm sick and fucking tired of sitting through load time. Um, but anyhow, um, this one does come into its own, and in fact, 
when you get the ability, um, advanced description, ego weaponry with, um, God damn it, where is it? With the heal, where every time you, uh, every time you fucking get a, get a crit, it heals you instead of deals more damage. That one, that one fucking makes this archetype ridiculously good. And yes, he is in the vanilla game. He's not in the glowing sea. He's closer to, uh, He's closer to... What's it called? Where's the place with all the fucking gunners? Um, where... The, uh, I can't even remember, but... It's been a long time. But yeah, you'll hear him. He'll be like, Hello? I can hear you! Can you help me? I'm stuck in here! And it's the kind of thing you'd expect to see in one of the one of the two-dimensional top-down fallouts, because one, it's ridiculous, and two, doesn't really make sense, because ghouls got to eat too. Um, but yeah, he's been locked in a fucking fridge since fucking before the bombs dropped. So yeah, and it's it's hilarious. But anyway. Uh, and Shadow Doom Fire keeps on logging in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Jesus Christ, Shadow Doom Fire. Seriously. Stop it! <sighs> but anyway. Uh, back to this archetype because we're going to be finishing this part up. Um, I would say. If you want something different out of your melee... Oh, God damn it! don't tell me I just opened something I didn't want to open. Sci Spy just wanted to say penis. Oh, God damn it! I accidentally opened up... Uh... Uh, exit. No, cancel. There we go. Uh, before it logs me out of the game. But anyway, um, if you want something different melee-wise, something that's not specifically swords, well, though technically this is uh, telekinetic swords, uh, if you want something that's not made of metal, this is a good archetype. If you want something that deals damage that is not as highly resisted as slashing or crushing damage. This is a good archetype. Um, if you want something that has translucent weaponry, this is a good archetype. Uh, if you want something that will resist knockbacks, keep moving, because this one doesn't even have strength as a super stat at all. There is n literally no reason to stat strength period, except just for uh, knockback resist. Um, and even then, so it's, yes, it is like Psylocke. Um, although you could roleplay it off as the blades are made of something else. You could claim that they're made of, you know, fire or, or something, or constructs of ice. Just pretend, but, you know, that's totally up to you. Uh, if you purchase the archetype, you'll be stuck with the pink blades. Um, but all in all, I'd say I'd actually place this lower on on the uh, scale, at least you know, early game to mid game, because your defenses really aren't all that. You're you're kind of weak, and uh, id mastery just boosts your par paranormal melee damage and um, 
it also does 20% oh 20% resistance to all damage okay never mind never mind that one isn't that bad I guess they improved it it used to just give you resistance to uh, paranormal or uh, or psionic damage wait locked in a fridge for 210 years okay of course people eating Salisbury steaks that that old makes sense but a fucking vehicle that actually runs is too much to ask <laughs> hilarious Hector um, but anyway I don't really rank this very high on the scale here it's like maybe maybe this one would be a six and a half at at best I mean I'm not gonna say it's a terrible archetype I just think that that if you're looking for melee that the and you want to get one that's a pay for archetype there are other better pay for melee archetypes out there the predator is definitely one the Devastator is definitely one. Um, and I haven't even rated the Devastator officially yet. But I, I have one, and I was actually retconning it before I started the stream, which is why it started a minute or so late. Um, but anyway. Boom. So, that is it. 6.5 is my official rating for this one, and that's at best. Um... In fact, it kind of stays around there throughout its entire leveling scheme. Just because the knockback alone gets really, really painful very, very quick, especially if you're a ground pounder. So... Anyhow, that is all for this particular archetype I am going to be doing my after archetype video or excuse me stream right after this and I'm gonna be trying to get my own behemoth to 40 and yes Hector it's going to be champions online again because that's what I do every Monday now but seriously try the game out dude no, don't don't knock it before you try it. Anyway, that's all for the uh, the Disciple Archetype tryout. I want you guys to remember that I love you all. I do. I really do. I love you guys all so very much. But um, I need you guys to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs>